Today, we are going to learn how to draw a squirrel in an oak tree. So, the, what we're going to need today is we're going to need our usual um, pencils and eraser. If you have a Sharpie with a really fine point, that would be really awesome. And today, we're going to be using watercolors. So if you have any watercolors like this, or even the liquid watercolors, those would be perfect. If you don't, you can still use crayons for your squirrel and for the oak tree, okay? So, or colored pencils. You could use colored pencils, you know. So really, almost anything will do that you might have around the house. And I know for sure you have to have um, an eraser and a pencil, okay? So we're going to be starting, oh, and the other thing that you're going to need is a piece of paper. So I'm gonna just take this right off here. There we go. And we're going to be ready. So one of the things I want you to know about this particular squirrel is a gray squirrel, and it wants to live, be around uh, the oak trees because they have acorns. Now this is an oak tree a branch that I got um, today, but and it's got some young leaves on it, but the older ones are ow, ow, very ouchy, ouchy, ouchy. And they don't have acorns on it this time of the year. They have these catkins on them. They're kind of like little, little things that help start to create their little acorns when the time comes. And so uh, what we are going to do though, is I wanna show you some, uh, some pictures of our, our awesome squirrels. So, it's a gray squirrel. So we will be drawing our squirrel sitting up and having an awesome little lunch right there, right? Okay, and this one here is burying the acorns, which means that it's actually being a gardener. And a lot of, they don't always come back and remember where all their acorns are. And then here's another one where it's eating. They don't just eat acorns. They will also eat berries and some young plants. Um, they do like their nuts, though. They do like their nuts. They'll also eat walnuts there. And this is a drawing. And again, it's, it's the gray, but the gray also has brown in it. And they do like to make nests. Sometimes if you look up in the trees and you'll see a big clump of something, it could be a squirrel nest. They also do it in the hollows of trees if they can find one. But if they can't, that's okay. They make it out of sticks and leaves. So we're going to be doing ours. It's going to be the picture of a very gnarly, very gnarly oak tree. And here's what the leaves look like, and we already saw that. But here's a picture of what the acorns look like, okay? So we want to do that for our picture. So let's get ourselves ready. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is actually include, we just very lightly, I want us to include that we're going to be doing, this is a good way here, just down towards the bottom, go ahead to a very light line. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use my charcoal. You're gonna use your regular yellow pencil, okay? I want you to see what I'm doing. And let's give it kind of a wiggliness to it. See, it's wiggly, wiggly, because uh, uh, oak trees are gnarly. They are gnarly. And let's not worry about the rest of it right now. This is a guideline. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create kind of a, a round, kind of oval round shape here, like this, oval round shape like that, right? There, you only need to do it once, but I just wanna make sure you can see that and not quite on the thing here, right? Because the feet are gonna go here. And then over here, not at the top, but off to the side, you're going to do kind of a circle, a small one, small circle, small, small. That's gonna be the head, it's got a little head little head there oh good and you know this is a perfect opportunity we can just simply attach it let's put up a, a guideline here that's a guideline do you see that's just a line that's going to disappear right and then this right over here this is also going to be a guideline right here and this is going to disappear this is going to help us know where the neck goes okay so and the tail so we're going to go like this but uh 
like that, right, right? Okay, and then one like that. That's it. We have a neck. And we're not going to worry about anything else. But one of the things about a squirrel is their tails. Is their tails, right? So what we're going to do is right here, so we have this one right over here, and right here, right next to that, we're going to do this awesome shape. Watch this shape. Ooh, like that. See that? Ooh, just like that. That's going to be part of the tail. Just part of the tail like that, right? Good. Now, this is the next thing we're going to do. Actually, put a little dot in the middle of our, our circle oval thing, right? Kind of a little dot. This is a guiding dot, right? And what we're going to do is give it the haunches. See here, look. This is, it has these like kind of haunches, how it goes like this. That's the leg part that goes up in there, and then it's got the little feet. So we want this to come like this. We're going to be doing a little haunch here. So this is this little foot that comes like this, and the foot will come out. Don't worry about this line down here. It's a kind of a long foot. I almost do a boxy just for now and bring it back over there. Don't worry about that. That's perfect. Good. And now we're going to do the rest of the tail. So watch how the rest of this tail goes, though. I'm starting from here at the bottom, and watch what I do. Boom, 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 boom. I touch the end of this and go boom, like that. Just like that. That's it. Just like that. Don't do any more. Just leave it right there, like that. Okay? Now, the next thing, oh, it needs to have some arms, right? Right? Okay. So here's where our arms are going to go, right here. And it's going to be holding a little nut, right? So it's going to have its arms kind of bent. So we're going to do arm. Here's an arm. comes kind of down and then out like this. And it's got like little paws like that. That's okay to do that. And bring it back and then make it kind of fat here like that. It's kind of fat. Kind of like that. There we go. The little paws like that. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. And then the, and then we could do another one over here, and we'll put the acorn in the middle of it. And then down here, we could actually do another foot. So this is how this other foot would go like this. Foot. Right, so there's two feet. And then we can come back over here and give it some toes. We can do that. Yeah. Well, this is looking good. Look at that. Look at that. Now, look at how its face is. Its face is... It's kind of long and thin. Do you see how it, it's not round? We had that round, but we're going to learn how to do this. So it's round. It's got very big, dark eyes. And the ears kind of face out. The ears kind of like are in our direction. And they can move those ears so they can hear things. So what I want us to do here is I'm actually going to have us come straight here and kind of do a boxy thing here. Kind of boxy like this. Boxy, boxy, kind of like that. Even more boxy. See, boxy. Right, a kind of a boxy face there, right? And it comes in like that. And then let's come back up over here and get its little ears here. Would be one ear here, hello ear, and another one back here, hello ear, and a big eyeball. It's got a really big eye, so let's give it a big eye right there. You don't have to fill it in yet, right? We don't have to fill it in yet. And go ahead, we could give now here. This is what the acorns look like. I wish I'd had an acorn. That would have been nice. But I want you to see. Now, it will be holding the acorn from the top. The top will be right here. So let's give this like a little top here. A little top like that. It's kind of like that. See? Top like that. And then we can have this just coming right straight on. There's the top. And have this coming. And it can be come down to the other side. That's okay. And it has like maybe a little stem on it. Right? Okay, like that. Kind of looks like a carrot. It's not a carrot. When you get some color on there, you'll see. <laughs> there. Oh, good. Now, the next thing we're going to do, I want us to complete how the, um, how the branch looks. Okay? So, here's this branch. And remember, it's going to be on the branch, right? So, let's come back over here. And we can kind of see a bit of a branch here and bring this up over here. And it's okay if you can't see most of it. We just want the squirrel on the branch somehow, right? And then we're going to give it some little branches that come off. Look at how squiggly these are. And it's okay if it comes off in there. That's okay. Get yeah, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. And then branches on branches on branches. That's important. Branches on branches on branches. And then I might want to do another one down here. That's okay. You don't have to use the exact picture. There we go. Another one. And remember, it's, oak trees are very gnarly. 
very gnarly and this the more branches we have the more leaves we'll be putting on there too yeah that's a pretty good one i like that and i might put one little branch here just a kind of a small branch here like that there with another one here that gives me an opportunity to have some leaves on that that's perfect and now the next thing we're going to do let's look at these leaves let's look at these leaves look now these are pretty young leaves, although you can still see it's got that prickle right here. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. And look at how it curves around in there. It's very dark green. Look at those veins in there. So it's not a round leaf. It's kind of got a point to it, right? So we're going to be doing those leaves here. So our leaves will be at the ends. So we'll have kind of a leaf here, and they have they're kind of serrated they're kind of rough like that and they have veins a lot of veins on them like that right and it's okay to put a few leaves they like they like company and it's okay if it comes off the page absolutely it's fine if it comes off the page right there and maybe another one over here and great if it comes off the page that's fine there, a little, whoops, forgot that serrated here. And maybe another one over here. Maybe it can be off this side over here. Let's have it be like this way. And here's our serrated here. There we go. And lines and lines. And then maybe another one over here that kind of goes up, serrated. There we did so we can actually see it a little bit better. And maybe another one over here. Stem, serrated leaf, veins. Now, here comes the cool part. We're going to be doing the acorns. Look, it has a little top. It's attached directly to the stem. So we're going to come over here, and I might do one right here. This could be attached to the stem. Here's the top. Here's the crown, little top, the little hat. And then it's okay if it comes back behind the leaf. That's all right. Maybe I want another one over here. Attach. Here's the little hat that it's wearing. And then... How it looks, and it's got a little bit of darkness in it. Maybe one more. I like, you know, yep, yeah, maybe one more. Stem, hat, hat, and, and it's behind a leaf. Okay, like that. So let's get some more leaves over here. If you have more, let's just do that. Yeah, there we go. There, good. And those, and the veins are really important. And I might want to stem an acorn here because maybe this is exactly where our squirrel got the acorn here maybe right here imagine living in the same place where all of your food is it's like living in your refrigerator right so here let's get this see how this is it has um a lot of different moss on here but i also mostly want you to see how the um the actual branch looks and it's kind of broken up in little tiny indentations here there like that so we want to give it some texture go ahead give it some texture they're not really deep like a redwood tree is but there is definitely texture there oh this is perfect now let's come back over here and try to make sure that this nose is a little bit pretty good that's actually not a little bit narrower than that and give it a little dark here our eye will be dark and then we can add some more later what we're going to do right now, though, is I want you to get your Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, I want you to just go over it with a regular pencil, okay? Because we're going to go over this right now. So let's start up here with this, this ear. This ear is here. Hi, ear. You are a good ear. Look at that. Oh, I don't like this one. Let me see if I can find a better one. Here we go. There. Be a good one. There we go. Oh, good. Okay. There. And then we're going to come back over here. Chicka, 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 back. Go all the way over here, and then I want you to know that the squirrel tail is all fluffy, right? So it's got a little hair, so don't make it smooth. Mm -mm -mm. Don't make that smooth, right? And we're just going to come right to there, right? Now we're going to come over here and come all the way over here. Now these are all guiding lines. We're going to erase those pencils, right? So we want it fluffy over here. Come right over here to its awesome leg. And this little foot, with, it actually has four toes, we'll get there. And then look, it has little nails, there's a little nail, little nail, little nail, little nail, there we go. And let's just do it one at a time, so we're going to come back up over here, yep. And then we're going to come back over to the other foot over here, here we go, foot, nail, 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 here we go, foot. Come right on up, 
here we go come right on up and here's the arm let's do that arm now we have sharp lines I'm not going to do sharp lines they're all going to be rounded because they're kind of furry right a little furry cute little furry thing one two three four like that and then we're going to come back up over here like that and here's the other and get let's get that chest in here coming right up over here and get that other hand and if you want to you can get that that cone on there, that little um acorn here we got a little top there we go our acorn it's a bit of a large acorn but that's okay it found a good one look at that look at that okay now let's go back and i actually want us to come back to the top and don't worry about that other ear we're going to get to that ear let's bring this around his little nose bring this around bring this around like this that's it and now we're going to get the other ear it's in that direction on that side our great big eyeballs now Here's where the nose is over here, but it also has whiskers, so I'm going to give it some whiskers, two, three, like that, right? Don't worry about the color yet. It, we'll fill that in later, okay? Good. The next thing we're going to do, come over here, let's do our plants, our, um, our, no, our awesome oak tree, okay? Here's our things here. Let's just follow this, just follow those lines you're just tracing. You're just tracing, 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 tracing. There. And once you have this all traced, it's like a coloring book. Oh, it's really easy to fill it in, to fill it in so, so that you have all your, um, all the colors. You just fill it in. So it's just like a coloring book. There we go. So here we are. Let's come back. And I'm watching for my overlap. It's a little tricky there get those veins as much as possible come back over here here we go here's another one remember those leaves have stems there come back over here serrate it serrate and they actually kind of when they get old in the summertime they're kind of pokey they really are quite pokey and that's to keep things from eating them but they have a relationship with squirrels they like squirrels, and this is why. They they have the the acorns are ready for squirrels to take and bury, because that's what squirrels do. They bury their extra food for maybe in a nice winter when they don't have so much food, right? Right? And they bury and by burying it, they're actually helping to plant them because there's no way that these squirrels are going to remember where they buried them. And here's an interesting thing. They bury the best ones away from the bottom of the tree. And the bottom of the tree is kind of dark. It's got the, it's covered, the, the big tree covers up the sunlight for the babies. And so it's harder for them to grow. But a squirrel can go way outside past the canopy of the tree and bury them somewhere else where they have a good start with more sun, right? So don't forget to get some of this, this nice branches in here yes and then after we do this did I get these I didn't get my veins here's my veins my veins there we go after we do this then I want you to go get your eraser wait a minute I didn't do this part oh okay here we go chicka 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 that's it just like that right okay let's get that eraser and now we're gonna erase these were just guiding lines they were to help us get up where we want to go and we don't need them anymore we're gonna we're just gonna erase them and we're only going to be using the um, either the sharpie lines or if you use the a regular pencil and you just pressed a little harder that we'll use those lines okay there and so when you, if you just use a regular pencil don't erase as much make sure that you keep your guiding your your actual outline lines there so this is pretty good I think we're getting ready I want you all to go get some watercolors right now if you don't have that the crayons or the pencils okay that's your job just go get those right now oh good so I hope you got your colors and I want to show you how I'd like to to do this. These are my watercolors. They're pretty pretty inexpensive. They're they're um, just 
they're the hard kind, not the liquid kind. You could use any kind. But this is what I'm going to ask you to do, though. I actually want you to put a drop of water or two on the colors that you're going to be using. Now, this is a gray squirrel, right, but it has some brown. So I'm going to put a little water here on my gray. I'm going to put a little bit of water on a few browns because I'm going to also need them for my branches. Maybe even a lighter color over here. Oh, possibly a little of this here. The greens because we're going to need them for our leaves, right? There we go, like that. And I actually want a blue sky, so I'm going to put a little bit of water on that. And this will help it. Maybe whatever that, that almost looks like a dark blue. That could be interesting. Okay, this helps your colors to not be so strong, right? You don't really want them that strong. You just want them to do their job, you know, and you, you need to uh, get water on them here. So this is how I'd like to do it. I like to give it a really, just a little tiny bit of water already on the squirrel. Let's start with our squirrel, right? Okay, just a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna come back over here and make sure I have water on my gray make sure it's not too thick and I'm gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna put, make sure it's not too thick and I'm gonna try to get it like it has fur right now I want you to remember look here I want to show you here the the inside of the of the squirrel look at this is very light is much lighter, almost white, but not white, very light, okay? We don't see much of it, but right in here will be that. And it does have, look, it does have a lot of browns in here, but that'll be the second cup that we add. But what I want to make sure we're doing is we're just not getting all this back in here. We just want to leave that light right back over there. Okay, and I'm still trying to just remember, keep, I like to put enough water on there. I can always add more later. I like to make sure I have enough water. Add those little strokes for the fur, right? Little strokes for the fur. There, good. There, and then come back over here. And we can add some brown. It does have, its face is a little bit brownish. So we're gonna come back over and do its face a little bit with a little bit more brown. Okay, arms are gray though. Arms are gray. And that tail, it has some gray down in here. It has some gray down in here. Now, I just want you to know that I'm dipping in this water quite a lot. And sometimes I'm just putting the water right on here, right? So I want you to know you don't want a puddle, okay? Truly, you don't want a puddle because it'll eat up your paper. But I do don't want it to be too thick. I'd rather just add more color to it. So look, okay, I have that. This is a very good start for this. I'm going to clean my brush, clean, 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 and I'm going to go and actually do a little bit of browns in here and mix it with that gray. It's totally fine to mix it with that gray. That's totally fine. And I'm doing little short strokes, right? A little water. Come back over here. I don't want it to be too dark. There we go. And it's a little bit, and it's also got a little bit of brown in the face here. A little bit of, oh, that's a little dark. That's okay. Watch what I do with that then. Okay, we're going to get more water on that and spread that. There we go. Spread that. It's okay if it's in the eye a little bit. We're going to come back and do black in there. Okay, so there, that's pretty good. There. Now, the other thing here, I want another color brown for my, for my um, branch. I don't want the same color for my branch that I have for my animal, right? So do mix your colors up. I got a few different colors in here to mix, right? Right? Okay, so I'm mixing different browns because it's an oak tree. That's got kind of a little an interesting brown, isn't it? Okay, there we go. A little bit thicker than I like. There we go. And let's just spread some of those colors out over here. Spread some of those colors. Yeah, here we go. A little bit more over here. Maybe a little here. There we go. There. Okay, and then we're going to spread some of this out over here there we are and it's okay you can go back in and spread more of this there we go you saw that we're going to clean the brush and do leaves clean 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 leaves the leaves are dark the leaves are dark so remember we put that water on these so just go back in go back in and let's get those leaves and it's okay to be mixing your colors i love mixing colors so my colors are all green, yes, but leaves are all different kinds of green, right? So these are different kinds of green that I'm putting on here. It's okay. 
yeah, dark greens, light greens. Now you might not have a lot of choice in your watercolors because sometimes it's just one green, but you could mix another color in there. Even a little bit of, of yellow could even be in there. It is a smidgen, not a lot. There. Okay. Now I'm going to come back over here and I want the brown, dark brown for my um, top of my acorn. Very dark brown. Dark brown, top, 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 okay. And then the rest of it is kind of lightish, right? So I'm actually going to do a pretty light color here, fairly light in there. Yep, 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 like that. Okay, and it went up, oh, there we go, a little light in there, and light in there. And here's that brown top, oh good. Okay, now, I want to do a little bit for the eye, and the eye is very dark, but I don't want to cover up the whole eye because I want to leave a little bit of light in there. And this is not as, yeah, just a little bit. We could come back to that one. Let's come back to that one. Good. Okay, and then let's get the rest of this um, acorn that's here. Good, 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 good. Now, just for now, I'm putting a little bit of yellow in because the sun would be coming through maybe. And you see, I'm just filling up that white zone with other colors in here. Now, even though I said that the animals aren't really white, I am gonna put a little kind of a light color in there. There we go, good. Oops, we forgot that little ear. Hello, ear. You are a good ear. Good. Now, the next thing here, wash that brush, wash that brush. I actually want a blue sky, but I wanna show you how I want to do this guy. I actually want to put water down first. I want to put water down first in the sky. I just want to put water here. Here we go. There, yeah. There we go. You know, one of the things I love about squirrels, they, they use the top of the tree. They don't even like to come down to the bottom much. They use the top of the tree like a, f a highway. And they could spend all day going from tree to tree to tree to tree. That's why they like forests. They like forests, and they really do a real forest service by planting the trees. They plant those acorns, and the acorns, oak trees, and and squirrels have been getting along for for forever, forever, because they do each other a favor. And here's a very cool thing. You see the top of the acorn here? That's the part that the squirrel takes that cap off and eats that, but the actual seed of the acorn is at the bottom, and it kind of tastes a little bitter, so sometimes the squirrel doesn't eat that part. Isn't that interesting? And so even if the squirrel eats part of it, and it's really sweet at the top, it has just all the right things in there that squirrels like to eat, if the flavor is right at the top, but they probably won't eat all the way down, and then uh, then they discard the nut and it just might grow. Or they'll bury it for later and then it really will grow because there's no way they can remember where they buried all their, their acorns, but there's plenty of acorns. So that's kind of fun. And you know, of course, squirrels are rodents, right? There. Now you can see rodents like a rat, only it's, just, it's in this tree. And they're kind of cute. We all kind of like them, right? So you see what I'm doing. I'm making sure there's plenty of water in here. And I'm going around into the areas here where the sky would be. And I do like to make just plenty of water. Plenty of water. Here we go. Yep. Water, water, water. You can always go back. It's hard to move it. Once you, once you put too dark a color, I don't want a dark color for my sky. One. The water helps spread the color a little bit. You see it spread, spread, spread. So, and then I'm gonna come back and get a little water where I put that. Yeah, look at that. So this is watercolor, and these are cheap. These are cheap, and the, what I'm trying to show you is that if you mix it with enough water, you can, not, not puddle, you definitely don't want puddle, right? No puddle. If you do enough water, especially for the sky, it blends and you don't see so many streaks. Okay, there we go. Look, 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 look. There we go. We have this. Oh my gosh. And if that dries, when that dries, you can actually even add more color to that if you want. But this is a very good start here. Very good start, what we've done on this. Oh my gosh, congratulations. You did this thing. You did a squirrel in an oak tree. Nice job. Awesome.